What's up guys? This is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym. Bring you guys a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna do a review of the Snowed Sport adjustable dumbbells. Could this be a right fit for you guys in your home gym? Let's see and find out. Hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, before we get started on the review of the Snowed Sport adjustable dumbbells, you know the drill. You better hit that like button and subscribe, baby to push this video across the world. My name is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym. I do home gym reviews, tips and tricks show that you out there can get jacked in your home gym, baby. Here we are today, guys, reviewing the Snowed Sport Adjustable Dumbbell. So if you are new to the adjustable dumbbell game, you need to know that these have been, a lot of people say, one of the best adjustable dumbbells on the market and for good reasons and obviously there are some drawbacks of getting these in your home gym so i'm excited to review these for you guys so before we get started let's do some quick specs and price of these snowed sport adjustable dumbbells so taking a closer look at these dumbbells guys they come in at a price of 795 dollars for the set they go up to 80 pounds the dimensions of the 80 pound dumbbell itself is 18.11 inches in length, 6.68 inches in width, and 6.68 inches in height. The assembled dimensions with the dumbbell in the base here is 19.29 inches in length, 7.48 inches in width, and 7.87 inches in height. If we talk the length, of the adjustable dumbbell. The length of the handle is 4.53 inches and the diameter is 1.42 inches. So talking about these adjustable dumbbells, the main selling point that they have are two things. Number one, these are fully made of cast iron. So let's, let's just take these out real quick and just show you guys just one of these plates. So one of these plates here, this is full cast iron. And the reason why a lot of people like gravitating towards cast iron is because they are durable, drop proof. Going to last a very long time because a lot of people, when they look for adjustable dumbbells, okay, they steer away from plastic because obviously plastic, if you drop them, okay, there's a good chance they're gonna break. Or taking care of them, plastic has a better chance of chipping, breaking away, whereas full cast iron, durability of these will last a lifetime with these snows, guys. So that's something to note with these type of adjustable dumbbells. It's full cast iron. Even the, we call it their crate or their stand. This is full cast iron as well. There's, I'm, again, I'm not gonna break these things completely down and show you everything, but just by the feel, the look, and everything, full cast iron, which again, we would say is a massive pro of these snowed adjustable dumbbells. So talking more about the handle, so the one thing that I do like about these is that the handle is not super long. I've had dumbbells, like for example, the iFest. It was almost like six inches in diameter. I'm like, I feel like I literally could get two hands in the dumbbell, that's ridiculous. With this, I feel like I don't have a lot of gap between each side, so I feel secure. I, that's just how I like my dumbbells, so let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. Now, we talk about the knurling here, guys. This isn't anything to go crying home about. It's more of a passive knurling, but again, there's knurling there, which is nice. I like to see Snowed getting you know, a little bit of a deeper knurling with this, especially if you're pushing the 80s. You want to not have an aggressive knurling, like a mountain aggressive knurling. That's a little extreme but something a little bit better for something like this especially when you're spending about 800 bucks on dumbbells that's something they could think about but i mean i am a huge fan of again the handle length i think that's honestly a huge win with these dumbbells now if we go on to the next thing just talking about adjustments so this has a dial adjustment and in this dial is a little window so that when you adjust it shows the weight increment. So like I'm at 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
and 80. So personally, I do like this dial, this adjustment. I think it's pretty seamless and pretty quick between each adjustment. But here's the problem a lot of people are gonna say, Luke, what the heck, man? Where's the 45? Luke, where's the 55? Where's the 35? I get it, all right? A lot of people are gonna steer away from something like this because of the adjustment. They're like, oh, well, I can get newel bells. Newel bells do that. Or I can just get the power box. Here's the thing, all right? Again, I get that, and trust me, that's a huge con of this. There are ways around it. So the nice thing about having cast iron is they sell their little magnets on snow. It'll show a picture of 1.25. You can stick on the end of this, or you could also get micro gains. You can stick your micro gains here to get your increments. There's ways around it, but some people are rather have the preset uh, different increments in their dumbbells, which I get it, it makes sense. But that's the next topic I wanna to talk about is the fact that these are full cast iron and drop proof. So cast iron, drop proof, and dovetail design, and two year warranty and drop proof are things this provides. So talking about a few of those things. So essentially, if you're like, Luke, what the heck dovetail design? So first I'm like, this is fancy. I need to do my research more. Essentially, they designed this so, which nice is at the head here, okay, it becomes more flat so that when you're putting it on your legs for your different pressing movements, it's comfortable, okay? You don't want a bulky, clanky dumbbell on your knees, especially heavy doing a, like a heavy pressing movement. It's awkward and you're just like, you don't want that investing in something like that in your home gym, which I like about the snows here. And again, you... <laughs> have to realize, again, we talked about fully cast iron drop proof. You can drop these things up to 32 inches. And again, in that warranty, okay, which is nice to your warranty, they have to provide, which I mean, how many times are you going to drop these? Probably not a ton, unless you're like, you know, you're pushing yourself pretty hard. You're one of those guys that likes to throw things around. Does have that, you know, I have obviously tested the crap out of this. You know, I sat on top of one of my 30 inch boxes and try to mimic 32 inches. These things literally were built to last. And there's not gonna be a lot of times where I'm doing incline at 80s, I'm gonna throw these things down, but you never know, maybe like you pop your shoulder, scary to think about, or you know, you just don't have enough energy to put it back in your, your legs, you can throw these things down and they're not gonna chip away away because again, fully cast iron with the snowed adjustable dumbbells. So one more thing to mention too that I've heard a lot of people talk about or could be a concern for them. They're like, Luke, when you're doing this, is there like, well, they say like a clank. So like, if you hear that, people get concerned about that. And I try to like kind of wrap my head around that because maybe they think that, oh, those plates inside are gonna fall apart or that clankiness can be loud and obnoxious and annoying. I, I get it. Again, I feel like that's a very, just saying, very bougie thing out there because as much as they clank, okay, these things are not falling out, okay? There is zero chance of me doing 80 pounds and it's clanking. Those things are going to slide off and fall on my face and crack my nose, crack my teeth. No. They have designed this to really make sure that these things are safe and secure when you're doing your movements. But again, it's something a lot of people always ask and talk about is that. So overall guys, my thoughts on these snowed sport adjustable dumbbells. Number one is the fact that they are full cast iron. Number two, they have a 32 inch drop proof warranty on it. Number three is they are just extremely durable, which is going to, these things will last you, last you a lifetime. I would be shocked if they don't. They will, but again, it just depends on what you want to do because the cons, I definitely see cons of people saying, Luke, you know, I, I don't like that these go up by 10 pounds and that's it. I would like to have something in different increments like with power blocks or Pepin or Chulap or Newbell. I'm going to go that route. Sure. I understand. But again, they, there are things to work around that with micro gains, plate mates, or they sell their own little magnetic plates on the end. But I would say that's like the main drawback of these because these things are freaking sweet, dude. 
But again, I can totally get that. And again, some people will say, well, Luke, I'm the freaking Iron Man here. I lift 120 pound dumbbells. That's freaking awesome. These aren't for you then because they only go to 80. Down the road, could they go higher up? Sure, but if you're super strong, you go past 80, these aren't for you too. But those are the main drawbacks. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of these dumbbells. Could this be a right for you guys in your home gym or not? Let me know. But yeah, thanks for sticking around for this review. Can't wait to bring out more content soon. This is Luke for Luke's Garage Gym. See you guys later.